sure. I think um, there towards the, the last couple innings, I just really slowed myself down and started to execute pitches a lot more than, than I did even in the first two innings. So happy with that. Are you kind of like looking up at the pitch count at any point and kind of knowing, okay, well, here's what I got to do to try to get through this? Or how do you sort of make yeah. that free focus? I mean, I wish I could say I didn't, but I for sure was peeking at the pitch count. I knew there in the fourth, I was like, I need a quick one to get through five and, you know, give the bullpen some rest. So, uh, but yeah, I was glad I had a quick fourth and then got through the fifth. You uh, were really heavy curveball, especially in the later innings. Um, was that maybe more just like changing up your sequencing for the next trip to the order, or was that, I don't know, like how did that come about? Yeah, I think that was just kind of like uh, like pregame research, just kind of some of the things I wanted to do, and um, you know, maybe just thought certain pitches were going to work better. And I just found myself, <laughs> honestly, in a, in a lot of counts where I felt like it was just the better pitch to throw. David told us he'd maybe even like see more cutters. He thinks it's your best pitch. Um, what has been good with that? And um, I don't know, do you feel like that could have been featured even more maybe in that second inning when things have got a little dicey? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's just, I mean, I, th I threw a decent amount actually in the second inning. I just like let a couple at bats get away the walks. I mean, blue pits are going to happen. So yeah. I just prefer for them to be on base because they earned it. Um, but I mean, yeah, the cutter's been great so far, getting a lot of strikeouts on it, and I think it's playing really well off my curveball, just kind of staying up in the zone. And maybe they're thinking it's going to drop. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to be one of my biggest features for the for the year. How, how, do you, how do these first two outings kind of build your confidence for your games coming, upcoming and moving forward? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's nice to get my feet under me without, you know, I guess a lot of damage at this point. So it's a, it's a great starting point, and if anything, I want to get even better from there. Is there a feeling of now that you've got a few starts under your belt, it's time to start going deeper and that, you know, that you're ready to do that? Yeah, for sure. I think I uh, got my pitch count into the 90s today, so uh, probably where I'd like to be leaving spring training. So at this point, it's, uh, you know, at this point, I'd say fully stretched out, ready to give as many innings as I can. Eric, you saw Sean at his very best, uh, his previous time here. Does he look like that right now, What he's, the way he's throwing? I mean, yeah, I'd, I'd almost say better. I've just... The first thing I said to him when he came in the in the dug, or in the clubhouse today was, I'm, "That curveball is was unbelievable, or slider, whatever he wants to call it." I said, "But like, that's such a weapon now, and something like I want." I was like, "Have a lot of confidence in that. That thing looks really good." And uh, he seemed excited about it. And I think when you're a guy that's dominated with one pitch for so long, to be able to add more into that, it's even more exciting.